Hello, and thank you for attending our Solid Edge 2021 What's New Part 2 webinar today. This will be a continuation of my counterpart, Grace Farrow's Part 1, released last month. My name is Aaron Creech, and I am an application engineer with ProLim, located here in Cincinnati, Ohio. A little bit about myself. I have over 20 years of end-user design engineering experience, and during that time, I've worked in the manufacturing, architectural, and automotive design industries. I build a strong working knowledge of most of the 3D design softwares, such as Inventor, Katia, SolidWorks, uh, several Autodesk products, and obviously Solid Edge. As I mentioned, I'm currently a Solid Edge application engineer. My focus is with mechanical and electrical CAD design systems. My career interests include generative design, additive manufacturing, and process improvement, or Kaizen. My personal interests include pretty much anything outdoors, uh, my family, camping, hunting, fishing, archery. Uh, but enough, enough about myself, let's go ahead and get started. Today we're going to be discussing the following manufacturing topics related to the new Solid Edge 2021 portfolio. So we're going to look at Solid Edge Cam Pro, uh, 2D nesting, and additive manufacturing enhancements with this new release. So here's a quick look at the ever-expanding Solid Edge portfolio available now in 2021. But we're just going to be focusing on just the manufacturing portion today. Solid Edge is consistently accelerating your product development. Whether it's additive or subtractive manufacturing, we have the tools to get you covered. Go ahead and jump into Cam Pro. New in 2021 is the Integrated Post Hub, an online library of post processors that make integration with your current machinery easy and quick. With a new post added regularly, Post Hub is searchable with filters of for machine types, manufacturers, controller types, and kinematic configurations. Once the desired post processor has been selected, it can be automatically downloaded and installed verifying these posts. This output is super simple as you can see here. Solid Edge Cam Pro now has multi-axis roughing, which is a great tool for quickly removing stock from aerospace parts like the one shown here. Multi-axis roughing uses adaptive roughing technology to machine parts in the most effective manner possible. Viewing the multi-axis roughing part in the replay mode allows visualization of the tool axis tilting as the cutting tool removes the material. On the 3D dynamic simulation option shows tools for motion and concurrent material removal. Notice how the multi-axis roughing efficiently removes material without ever burying the tool into the cut. That's extremely important for efficient machining. With machining simulation, users can now view the actual machine motion which delivers a high, very high confidence level and is necessary for complicated multi-axis machining centers. Solid Edge Cam Pro now supports G-code based simulation, meaning the virtual machining center is acting upon the G-code just like the real machine would. We continue to push both additive and subtractive manufacturing forward. You can see that in our new introduction to the Post Hub library. Getting access to proven posts for your specific CNC machining tool has been a con consistent industry challenge, but now it's much easier with the new Post Hub library. We also had a sneak peek of the multi-axis roughing. It's truly state of the art. We've also been adding some things in additive that we didn't get a chance to look at yet, but we are providing better material selections for your printing needs and bringing various additive checkers into one comprehensive additive checker just to make things a whole lot easier to interact with. Another part of the manufacturing module is the 2D part nesting. A lot of you out there are using sheet metal it's the ability to lay those sheet metal parts out in the most efficient way possible. We have the most efficient algorithm in the industry for doing just that. Let's take a sneak peek. If your machine looks anything like this one, consisting largely of sheet metal parts of varying material types and thicknesses, you'll really benefit here. So let's jump into the Solid Edge 2D nesting and we can see now that we can search the complete assembly for the appropriate sheet metal documents automatically sorting the parts by material type and thickness, as you can see here. By selecting the material type and then the thickness, you can quickly make patterns for multiple jobs, enhancing shop floor efficiencies drastically. The flat patterns are then automatically extracted from the parts, saving valuable time. Assembly occurrence counts now automatically define part quantities, while the job multiplier quickly calculates the amount needed to manufacture multiple machines, as you can see here. Solid Edge 2D nesting supports multiple sheet sizes as well. Standard sheet sizes are configured in the, in the library. You can also easily define your own custom sizes. And here's Solid Edge 2D nesting doing its thing, finding the most efficient way to use your material. Saving the material cost alone, gained by the high efficient 
high-efficient algorithm can quickly offset this software's investment. And last but not least, the 2D nesting has a quick cost estimator, you can see up here in the top right corner. For a user-defined cost per square meter or yard, 2D nesting quickly generates the accurate cost of material that are needed for job cost accounting, quoting, and inventory purposes. Tuning nesting is a great opportunity to improve your sheet metal processes while saving you money. As I said, it uses the most efficient algorithm in the industry. We've enhanced it to deal with odd shaped sheets, like you see in the upper right hand corner here. The ability to nest something on maybe cloth, leather, an old piece of offal, or a remnant left over from a previous nesting project, these are all supported now. Adding the cost of material and the job multiplier just make it a lot easier for you to get the job done. Having the ability to sort the material and or by thickness is a great advantage over the other 2D nesting packages out there. Now that you've seen the capabilities and benefits of the 2D nesting product in action, as an additional inclusion with Solid Edge 2021 2D nesting, you now have the ability to see the cost savings in real time with the new 2D nesting ROI calculator available with this download. You can easily configure and update this calculator based on your own current material pricing, labor costs, and frequency of the nesting project. Quickly, you will visualize the material cost savings that can pay for this product in a very short period of time. In summary of the 2D nesting benefits, I'd like to point out the ability to extract the 2D flat pattern from solid edge files, easily import and export DXF DWG files, as well as the job multiplier that will allow you to quickly and easily do multiple of jobs in, the 2D, in one 2D nest. That results in less wasted material and a high return on investment. Adds money to your bottom line. Seems like a no-brainer to me. Now let's take a quick look at the additive manufacturing enhancements that have been introduced since my last Solid Edge 2020 additive manufacturing webinar back in August. If you haven't already, please check it out on our YouTube page and give us a follow if you aren't already. One of the first new additive manufacturing features with Solid Edge 2021 is the new Print Materials command under the 3D Print tab. Here you can change the print materials on the fly that were previously assigned to the model in the early phases, in the early design phases of the project. It's now super easy to create and save new 3D print materials on the fly, directly in the 3D print environment. Just click the 3D Print tab, open the material table, create a new or an existing material and then save as a new custom property. It's that easy. And finally, Solid Edge 2021 has introduced the new Print Validations command. This new dialog allows validation of the model for 3D printing and it combines existing checkers and adds three additional. Here we can change the display resolution of the model to coarse, medium, or fine, temporarily converting the model to an STL format. We can also validate the wall thickness and overhang here as well. This new validation tool gives us the ability to observe and highlight any possible print complications and address them here before ever printing the model, thus greatly reducing the amount of print time and material costs. I wanted to add in one additional new feature to Solid Edge 2021 that isn't necessarily a manufacturing enhancement, but thought it was a really cool addition to Solid Edge that I think everyone will love. It's a new adaptive UI technology that uses artificial intelligence to predict what you do next. How does it do that? It looks at what you've been doing in the past and your patterns, then it figures out what you might do next and present those options to you. It's really groundbreaking technology. Let's see this in action. Keep your eye on the top left hand corner of the screen. Solid Edge 2021 includes an artificial intelligence based assistant and its user interface to predict the next command uh, you need based on what you're doing and where you are in the design. So for the Fanatic, machine that was used in the previous 2D nesting demonstration, the project had a lot of sheet metal work. And Solid Edge 2021 has learned that, that from that design engineer. And rather than presenting tools that are commonly used across the industry, which would be good, it pre it's presenting tools commonly used by that individual, which is excellent. Solid Edge 2021 is now individually tailored to you, the user, and it will be continued to learn from you and dynamically improve how it holds your hand through your day-to-day -day work. And it's really interesting to watch dynamically presenting the next selection of tools, even across environments, as we go from sheet metal to sketch and back to presenting specific commands. I said at the start to keep your eye on the top left corner of the screen. Notice it's just one toolbar. 
This means you can remove the other toolbars to maximize your workspace you have right there, ready when you are. As you saw, we're harnessing the power of artificial intelligence and you see how it can be applied to your daily work. It's personalized for you. It actually learns from you. What it does the first day of usage versus what it does after a week will be different because it learns from you. The great thing here about this is that you can also share it with others in your company. So even though maybe your work isn't the same as other companies, within your work, you may have similar things that people do. You can give them a head start in learning by sharing your piece with them. That'll conclude today's What's New Solid Edge 2021 Manufacturing Portfolio Webinar, short and sweet. At this time, we'll take any questions you might have. And if there are no questions, please feel free to direct any future questions to the contact information you see here. Thank you all for attending and your time and have a great rest of your day.